What is maladaptive daydreaming? Have you ever sat through a boring class only to find yourself drifting into a daydream? Maybe you've dreamt about laying in paradise minutes before checking out of a shift. In most cases, we daydream when we wish to be elsewhere but can't change the current setting or situation just yet. It sounds harmless, creative, and fun, right? But too much of anything is always bad for you. Here's what you need to know about maladaptive daydreaming. What is it? Maladaptive daydreaming is a term first coined by Professor Ellie Sommer. It is a psychiatric phenomenon that can interfere with your ability to carry out daily tasks, including your academics, work, and other regular activities. Professor Sommer found that maladaptive daydreaming occurs in people's lives who have suffered from severe trauma. As a result, they would daydream in order to escape their harsh, painful realities. What's interesting about maladaptive daydreaming is that it actually isn't represented in the DMS handbook that psychologists often refer to when diagnosing patients. However, some professionals believe it is a mental disorder that can severely affect the individual. What are the symptoms? People who experience maladaptive daydreaming often get triggered by real-life traumatizing events or mere reminders of them. They usually have very vivid, detailed daydreams that contain rich, imaginative plots. You might whisper during these daydreams, which can last for hours and affect your ability to finish tasks. You might have trouble sleeping at night too. Maladaptive daydreaming can also coexist with other psychiatric problems, including ADD, OCD, and depression. Is there treatment for it? Unfortunately, there is no known treatment for maladaptive daydreaming. However, there are techniques you could use to reduce the symptoms, such as avoiding potentially triggering people, places, and situations. There is also medication one can take to manage their daydreams. Although maladaptive daydreaming cannot be diagnosed yet by professionals, we wanted to approach it with an open mind and enjoyed exploring it with you. What other interesting facts do you know about maladaptive daydreaming? Share your thoughts with us below. Also, please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people to spread awareness on the mind and mental health issues. Thanks for watching.